This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. In the main event that airs on July 3rd, Sid's going to beat Bam Bam Bigelow when Godwin pushes Bigelow off the top rope. And after the match, Sid power bombs Bigelow as well. Is the bloom off the rose for Bigelow at this point? I mean, we're not too terribly far removed from WrestleMania where he's main eventing against Lawrence Taylor. But now we've got Sid beating him and a power bomb afterwards. And it looks like Godwin's going to be involved. How much influence is this of backstage politics or why is Bigelow scooting down the cards? I don't know if there's anything to do with backstage politics. It's more of an issue of Sean turning babyface and being on that side when we had been looking at Bigelow, you know, kind of being that new babyface that was going to emerge after WrestleMania. And when Sean emerged, it was, you've only got so much of a spotlight to share. You know, Sean stepped into that spotlight and Sean took it and ran with it. And I don't think that Bam Bam was somebody that, you know, really took it and ran with it the way that he could have. And it, it just was it kind of fizzled out more than anything. We, we were expecting Bam Bam to have a lot more momentum coming out of WrestleMania. Oh, man. Let's keep going. One more thing, uh, or I guess a couple more notes before we get to the pay-per-view. Meltzer would say, speaking of WrestleMania, one of our readers bumped into Lawrence Taylor's this past week who made it clear he'd never wrestle again, saying it was the biggest mistake of his career to do so. I don't know how much I believe uh, somebody bumped into somebody. I understand that that's easy to shit on, but I've never really heard Lawrence Taylor talk about wrestling, you know, or his experience. Have you talked to Lawrence or ran across anything where you got an indication whether or not he felt like it was fun or had a good time or worthwhile or successful, or did he just regret it? Well, well, I can only talk to my personal experience with Lawrence is that he absolutely loved the experience that he had with us. And it was a dream come true to him because he had, he had been a fan his whole life and he had a shitload of fun with the buildup, the training all the way to and through the match. So, um, no, I never heard that. And I, I, I doubt anyone else did other than somebody saying, Hey man, boy, that sure was a mistake. What you did at getting in the ring at WrestleMania and you must've hated that. And for them to just say, you know, Lawrence, not knowing what the fuck they're talking about saying, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of negative people that will only hear and say the negative that that's what they're going to want to believe. Let's, uh, let's talk about morale. Meltzer would say the morale on the road is really bad. And I'm told the majority of the wrestlers right now are trying to do as little as they can to get by, which makes sense for lackluster house shows. Would you say overall that morale was down here in the summer of 95? I mean, we're, we're seeing folks let go record low pay-per-view numbers. Do you think that morale was low, not just in the office, but amongst the talent? Yeah, I do. I think that the paydays were down. I think that, you know, overall the, any time that pay is down a little bit, the guys start talking and guys start buzzing about, oh, what's next? What are we going to do? So sometimes the morale is, is like a roller coaster. They'll, go and they'll, uh, be good one moment and bad the next. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.